using names and formulas. By using names in the formulas instead of the cell addresses, we can quickly reference large ranges of cells or individual cells that are not readily apparent within our spreadsheets. Using the same spreadsheet that we used to create the names, we're now going to go ahead and create formulas. Just a quick refresher, from the name dropdown, we can see all the names that we have created already. Clicking on a name will select that either cell or range of cells. So to begin with, we're going to select cell B13, where we're calculating the taxes. With cell B13 now selected, let's look up into the formula bar and take note of the formula. The cell reference of M1 refers to the cell containing the tax. We will replace the reference of M1 with the name tax. Double clicking on the cell reference of M1 in our formula, as we begin to type into the formula to replace the cell address, you should see the drop-down list showing the list of available functions as well as the names displayed. In the drop-down lists, functions use the icon of the FX, while names use the icon of a little yellow tag. When the name you want is visible, you could either double-click on it or continue to type until it is highlighted and use the Tab key to enter that name. Going to use the Control Enter Key combination to apply the formula and keep the same cell actively selected. Use the autofill to replace all the other cells. Now to see the formulas, we're going to go ahead and use the Show Formulas button added earlier to the Quick Access Toolbar. You can also find the Show Formulas button on the Formulas tab in the Formula Auditing group. Notice that all the references to cell M1 have now been replaced with Tax. As such, these formulas are much, much more easily read and understood. Clicking the Show Formulas button again will now hide those formulas so we can see the values. Selecting cell B16, we will now create a formula to determine or calculate how much commission is earned per month. We will use only names in these formulas. So to begin with, we'll go ahead and just type in an equal. We'll start to type the word sum. Our little tooltip list will show up. Sum is highlighted. We'll use the tab key to apply that function. As you continue to type the month in, you'll see that the names populate in the little drop-down list. When the month we want is highlighted, we will simply either double click on it with the mouse or we will use the tab key to enter that name into our formula. Closing the parentheses, adding an asterisk to multiply, I'll begin to type commission and when the commission is highlighted, I'll simply tap the tab key to enter that and then my formula is complete. Now I can use the autofill to pull this across and populate the rest of this row. Clicking the Show Formulas button will reveal what is happening with these formulas. Since we use names in these formulas, the autofill will copy the entire formula using the name. Names being absolute references do not automatically adapt in the same way that relative addresses do. And that is why we see the sum of January being multiplied by the commission in all of these cells. So now we're going to hide these formulas again and select cell C16 to begin editing the formulas. Double clicking into the cell allows us to edit the cell. Double clicking the name January will select the entire name and allow us to quickly change it. Beginning to type the month February, the name is displayed. I'll use the tab key to apply the name. Now the formula is correct. I can simply use my control enter keys to apply the formula. We can now see that the formula is returning a value. And if we look to the top in the formula bar, we can see that the formula reads equals sum the month of February multiplied by commission. Now we can move on and complete editing the rest of the cells.
Once we have finished editing all of those formulas, clicking the Show Formulas button will show us how easy it is to understand these formulas now that they have names. Now let's hide the formula and move down where we will begin to calculate the commissions that each city has earned. Selecting cell B19 will begin to calculate the commission that the city of Columbus has earned. Essentially, this is the same formula used to calculate the monthly commissions. So we'll begin with equals sum tab, begin to type in Columbus. When the name appears, we'll use the tab key again to enter that. Closing the parentheses, adding the asterisk, and now we'll begin to type in the name commission. When that name is highlighted in our list, we'll go ahead and use the tab key again to apply that name, and our formula is now complete. Tapping the Enter key will apply the formula and we'll move down to the cell underneath where we'll begin to calculate Montreal's commission. We'll simply re-enter the same formula, changing the names accordingly. Looking at the formulas now, you can see how much more convenient it is to use names than it is to try and remember all the cell addresses in your documents.